Katrina from Katrina's Book Nook. So I have a, another review for you. I want to show you this one, Legend by Jude Devereaux. Now, I'm not really much for the whole romance, love story, fantasy kind of thing, kind of a Stephen King, Dean Coots girl, but this was a great story. So it started off with Katie. Now, Katie is about to get married to this very handsome, very successful man. She works for this man's mother. So Katie is a chef. She loves what she does. She loves her kitchen. She loves the whole, the ingredients. She loves to go out and walk the woods and find ingredients and bring them back to her kitchen to experiment. Katie also has a recurring dream, a lifelong dream. Ever since she was a child, she had a dream of a man on a horse who would come and rescue her. Katie would grab his hand and jump on the back of this horse and ride off into the sunset with him. Problem was, Katie had never seen this man before. She had no idea who he was or if he even existed anywhere outside of her dreams. So Katie decides to go on with this wedding, this man, this reality that she knows and she's solid, she can grab a hold of this. So she starts planning this wedding, but she's got no experience outside of a kitchen. She doesn't know what to wear. She doesn't know who, how to do any of it, invites any of it. So she is walking around in an antique store and she sees this old flower tin and she's very interested. So she buys it, she takes it home, she scrapes all the junk off of it, pries this thing open and opens it up and it just so happens to contain a wedding dress and not just any wedding dress. Now Katie in this book is a tiny little thing, short, petite, little hourglass figure. She's having a hard time finding a wedding dress. And for this thing to be in this tin kind of blows her mind. More than that, it fits her perfectly. Every shape, every curve that Katie have is perfect in this dress. So she puts it on, she fixes her hair, she does all her makeup, and she turns to look into the mirror to see how beautiful this beautiful dress is going to look on her. And she starts getting dizzy and faint. She sits down on the couch, she kind of closes her eyes, she opens them back up, and she is no longer in her apartment. She is now over a hundred years ago in a rocks, rocky mountain in Colorado. She comes upon a man who is about to be hanged and she saves him. For the next three days, she is in this woods and wilderness with this strange man that she doesn't know him from anybody. And he's certainly nothing like her fantasy man, but he's a good guy until he takes her to his house and tricks her into staying for a while. Well, when Katie does finally return to her own place and time, she realizes that things have changed for her, not just around her, but inside of her. Something inside of her has really changed. And she tries really hard to figure out what happened. What happened back then? What happened to her all those years ago? And what is still happening to her today? I recommend this book. It was a total mind blower. Page Turner. I finished it in absolutely no time at all. It was called Legend by Jude Devereaux. I give it double thumbs up. So, if you have ever read this book or anything by Jude Devereaux, I'd love to hear what you thought about it. And if you haven't, check it out and then let me know what you think about it. Thank you for joining me. You have a great day.